Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Black Ink Cruise, Donna Marie Lombardi, that's her name, and this whole backlash that she's been experiencing. So now it started about last month, around February, when there was supposed to be a tape going around about her and the Vagina Slayer. I just hate saying that name. Like what kind of grown man calls himself the Vagina Slayer? I'm not calling him that. There was a tape supposed to be going around about her and her co-worker, Alex, supposedly having sex in a bathroom. She's supposed to be bent over. He's supposed to be doing it from the back. That's the rumors. Now, I didn't see the tape. I didn't see the tape. Now, either the tape was posted, gonna get posted, posted, taken down, whatever. You got the point. It was her hooking up with her um, co-worker. Now, now, the whole video situation, it was mentioned on the show, but it was kind of glossed over and not brought up in detail, of course. She received a huge backlash from this. I mean, people started going in on her, okay? Now, we all know that sex is her hobby. <laughs> I mean, some people read books, not Donna. She likes, you know, spread them wide and dip them low. <laughs> but anyway, we know that she's not shy about being a very, very sexual person. Okay, so... But people were going in, and they kept saying mean, mean things. But it was one repeated word they kept saying, okay? I don't like saying the word, so I'm going to say it quick. Ho. Okay, they kept calling her a ho. It was really, really bad. And she saw these comments of people going in, and she posted a response to the comments. Take a look. Donna, so I just want to come over here and say that y'all are all really fucked up. <laughs> And that I'm glad a bitch got high self-esteem or else it would have been another suicide in the world. And that's really like some shit we should think about. Before you go on the internet body shaming and slut shaming and all that other shit that y'all don't even really know what the fuck is going on. Just think about how that shit affect motherfuckers before you go saying what the fuck you gotta say. Cause y'all, think, just think about that shit. If the video would have came out, right? And then, y'all niggas is all on me. How y'all niggas is on me, right? Don't even know what happened. Just on me, how y'all on me. And then y'all woke up the next morning and was like, Donna M. Is she smoking a joint? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Well, all right, Donna, listen, you don't make it easy for people to stop talking about you. You know, you do crazy things. Like, if you don't want people to sit, you know, give horrible backlash, you might want to stay out of bathrooms, you know, or doing it in the bathrooms. How about that, you know? But I'm just saying. But she has a point. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan because I think she makes the show interesting. I don't take it to heart, you know. I mean, it's not my man she's having sex with in the bathroom. But then this might be a different video if it was, but it's not. So I think she makes the show interesting. You know, the crazier the better, in my opinion. But a lot of people don't feel that way. And now there are teams going around on the blogs. Team Jada or Team Donna, okay? And this is all because of this upcoming week episode, which sounds insane. Okay, so we all know that Donna had a miscarriage where she had her uterus cut and her fallopian tubes. It was just an awful thing. And her boyfriend was there every step of the way and being very supportive. And then he suggested that they move in together. And I hate to feel like I'm insensitive to that, but I can't pay rent with emotions in real life. Like, I can't. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Donna lost the pregnancy of fallopian tube. And she might not even be able to conceive anymore, but you are more concerned with your Rent data? Come on now, bitch. And now Did I just agree with Sky? Uh-oh. Better get my head checked. People are saying she's doing Jada wrong. That uh she's low down. How can she leave Jada hanging? Isn't this what you're supposed to do, people? Don't you want her to settle down and be happy? She can't be a roommate forever. I mean, if she keeps being a roommate too much longer, then she's going to roll into the, you know, loser sick, loser category. I mean, come on, people. But there are really teams going around the Internet. Oh, my God. So, you know, I feel bad for her. I feel bad because... At the end of the day, while she was rolling her joint, <laughs> she had a point. You have to watch what you say to people. You could really, really hurt someone's self-esteem. Now, according to Donna, you know, her, she has high self-esteem. That's why she could 
put up with this nonsense of people being mean to her and calling her, you know, low down rotten scoundrel names. Like, you know, I'm not going to say it again. I promise myself I'm not going to say it again. But she had, might have a point here. But since these teams have formed on the internet, I might say I'm team Donna. As long as it's not my man. Is that Two-Face? Yeah, that's kind of Two-Face. I need her to stay on the show. You know, she gets good TV. I love it. I love it. But whose side are you on? Are you Team Jada or Team Donna? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.